Jalen, what would you feel like you did the best out there today? Um, just compete, um, give a lot of effort, and um, be a good teammate, even to the new guys. Um, one of the guys I already knew really well, we played AAU together, Caleb Martin. So just try to be a good teammate and compete. That's probably the best thing I did. Now you shot 40% from three-point range last season. If you end up in the NBA, do you hope to – is you going to be a, a shooter, like a distance guy? Or? Um, I mean, we'll see. Uh, I feel like I can do a lot of other things uh, other than just shoot. But um, I feel like that's probably one of, one of the things I'm better at. So I hope that it will translate, and I'll put a lot of work in for it to translate. You haven't hired an agent yet, right? I have not hired okay, an agent. So you can still go back. Yes, sir. Was the Gonzaga game your best? You had, what, eight threes in that game? Um, yeah, I think that was my best game shooting-wise. What do you remember I, about that night? Um, just kind of being in the zone and, and just feeling like the, the, the rim was like an ocean. You know what I mean, just shooting, and I feel like every shot pretty much went in. So it's just kind of being in the zone like that. How much um, – th those are the kinds of games probably fans remember or, like, casual fans remember. Like, how much does a game like that come up in – I mean, it's early for you, but the pre-draft process, how much do you think NBA teams take notice of, like, big performances like that? Um, I think, yeah, I think, team, I think teams would definitely remember that a lot, but I don't even think that was one of my best games, like, overall. You know what I mean? I had a bunch of games where I did a lot of stuff on both ends of the floor and just affecting the game in different ways. And so I feel like shooting-wise, that was probably one of my better games. But as far as affecting the game, I'm sure the NBA teams will see different things, too, and consider other, other games to be one of some of my better games. When you were shooting here, or your team's three-point shot is a little bit longer. Yeah. Did that affect you at all? Any difference between that and the college three point line? Yeah, there's definitely a difference. Um, I'm getting really comfortable with it. Um, I obviously didn't shoot it my best today, um, but I feel like I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it. I don't notice, notice too much of a, of a difference with catch and shoot. Sometimes off the dribble, you can notice it's a little bit farther, but um, just, just continue to work and just continue to get better and just get more used to it. So the idea these guys are now shooting threes, like their layups in the NBA. Right. Does that impress you more after you get out here and find you do the same thing yourself? Yeah, it's definitely impressive. Um, I'm, a, I'm a competitor, so I obviously try to improve and, and get, get my shot to where their, theirs is. But obviously, they have some time on me. So um, just trying to get better every day is pretty, is pretty much my focus from shooting the, the NBA 3. When I mean, you only have a couple of hours to, to show what you can do, do you right. try to show the entire breadth of your game, or do you, do you focus on like trying to show that you can be great at one thing? Um, for me, it was, it was trying to show a little bit of everything, just competing. Um, I did make make and take some tough shots today, but I feel like I want to show everybody that I can do more. You know what I mean? I'm just known as just a shooter, and uh, I feel like I can do a lot more coming off the ball screen, shooting, creating. Uh, I did some of that today as well. So it is kind of like a small uh, like time frame uh, to be able to show everything, but I feel like I handled it well today. Were you surprised by the emphasis on defense? Um, not really. Uh, Lakers, I mean, I knew they were a good defensive team, and I, I didn't know they finished top 15 in the league, but I know that watching the games, you can really tell that their guys put a lot of effort and emphasis on defense. Who brought that up? Um, I can't remember his name. I don't. It wasn't Coach Walton. Um, Light-skinned guy. I can't remember his name. I met so many people today. But, um, yeah, he put it, put it in for someone. Okay. Are you on social media? Kata just said he wasn't on social media. Uh, yeah, I am on social media, but I haven't been super active lately, just trying to get through the process and be super focused. Um, so I am. I do have every social media platform, though. Were you checking out your mentions after the Gonzaga game? Uh, no, they actually took our phones. Our coaches actually took our phones. Really? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> For the whole season? <laughs> no, 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 just um, sometimes we were in a way and we had to stay at the hotel for a long time or we didn't get back right on the road. Uh, sometimes they felt like that was important just so we could get our rest and, and be ready for the next day because, you know, I mean, after after midnight, you don't really want to celebrate the win too much because you got to get ready for the next opponent. And sometimes we were even looking at the film after the win for the next opponent. So you don't want to celebrate the win too much. You know what I mean? It's not a national championship. So that was a big uh, emphasis on our team this year. So.